This week's video is going to be about performance issues and possible fixes on the Xiaomi M365 electric scooter. The main problem I see in the comments about the M365 is that it's too slow or doesn't have the range it's supposed to. First, rider weight and hills really hurts the scooter's performance, but there's nothing we can do about that. But to give you an idea of what performance you should expect out of the M365, I'll share with you my experiences based on my weight and the hills I ride on. I weigh 165 pounds fully dressed. On flat ground, I can easily do the maximum 25 km per hour. Up a slight incline, I can still do 25 km per hour. On a medium hill, about 8% grade, I can do about 10 km per hour. Anything more than that and I'll start kicking to help it up. Another thing to note is I can only achieve these speeds with a battery that is at least 60% charged. Anything less and I start to notice less performance. This is completely normal. Just like a flashlight, it is not nearly as bright as when it was with a new battery. Now let's talk about range I get. With about 250 meters of elevation gain, meaning some hills but nothing too crazy, I get about 20 to 22 kilometers of range before I reach about 5% battery left. 22 kilometers of range is nowhere near the rated 30 kilometers, but keep in mind I always ride in performance mode and I'm usually full throttle or no throttle. Xiaomi might have been able to attain 30 kilometers, but probably with someone weighing 100 pounds, no wind or hills, and in eco mode. Speaking of eco mode, that was one of the problems I read about in the comments in one of my other videos. The user said he could not reach past 17 kilometers an hour but was able to go 25 km an hour a few days before. After a few messages back and forth, we finally found out he was eco mode and not the normal performance mode. He must have put into eco mode and then not realized it. Eco mode limits your top speed and acceleration to gain range. A green light on your battery meter indicates eco mode. No green light is normal mode slash performance mode. Another reason for poor performance is tire pressure. Too low tire pressure will add excessive rolling resistance, which will equal to lesser performance. Based on my weight and what the manual says, I should be running about 40 to 45 PSI, but I've tried 40, 50, and 60 PSI, and I've noticed better performance at 60 PSI. The tires on the M365 is rated at a maximum of 50 PSI, so any more will be at your own risk. Now solid tires. The idea of never having a flat tire is great and all, but at the cost of tire grip, speed, and range, I don't think it's worth it. I've reviewed the solid tires, and I don't like them at all, and also had a bunch of comments on poor traction, top speed, and range. So if you have poor performance and using solid tires on the front wheel, they might be the cause. Next, let's talk about the battery. Cold weather will affect the performance of your scooter. Lithium ion batteries, like the ones in the M365, perform best at around 20 degrees Celsius. So operating your scooter at anything below 20 degrees Celsius may cause lesser performance. And I have noticed this during the winter. Keeping the scooter stored at room temperature before going out for a ride in the cold will help combat this problem. This next problem has to do with spot wells breaking off the battery terminals. This has happened to me and the first thing you'll notice is a large sudden decrease in range. I have a bunch of videos related to the problem and how to fix it, so you can check it out if you like. I don't know if I mentioned it in the videos, but the problem is mainly caused by riding rough terrain and trying to do jumps and tricks with the scooter. So that is it for this video. I know some of these suggestions are obvious, but I'm hoping they might help out someone that might not know. If they did, please give it a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, ask them below, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.